What's going on guys? My name is Zach or Optic Tubo and welcome to another video. Today I've got a pretty special video for you guys. I uploaded a uh, my editing workflow uh, a little while ago actually and it was my workflow of editing inside of After Effects and then using Premiere as a final render. But actually I've kind of up updated it a bit and revamped the way that I work, especially on bigger montages. So here we are in Adobe Premiere CS6. And I really like it. It's it's a lot like Sony Vegas for those of you who use Sony Vegas. So here's the difference when it comes to my workflow. So I have all of the clips here, right? So let me just go ahead and drag one into a new sequence. It's going to open up a new sequence for us. And what I'm going to do is actually also drag in a song here. Um, I'm not going to be going over how to use Premiere in this video. I'm just going to be showing you what I do. But I will be making Adobe Premiere video uh, tutorial videos in the future. All right, so what I do is I take my clips, I would, uh, you know, sync them up, I would cut them so that the shots line up and, uh, you know, drag them in and I would sync up all the gunshots to the music. I would also bring in my gunshots and, you know, sync it up. You can use markers the same way by pressing M and it just makes markers. And we all know about that in Sony Vegas and After Effects is all pretty similar. So here comes the real difference. So for my graphics card, it's, it's from NVIDIA. And if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it actually works really well with Adobe Premiere. If you don't, I'm not sure exactly how this works. But the nice thing is that you can preview all of your clips at full resolution uh, without rendering at all. As long as you don't add a bunch of effects to it. So I would do the raw sync of the... Uh, of the whole entire song or the montage inside of Adobe Premiere. So let's see, let me grab uh, one of my older sequences. So this is what it would look like. You've got nice, a bunch of cuts and they're all time remapped to the, to the music and you've got your gunshots and everything. And what you can actually do is you can play this back and watch it in real time. And I'm not gonna show you all of this, but this is basically what you can do and you can get a nice overview of your project without any of the effects. And then once you have it all the way that you want to and you have your effects sort of mapped out in your mind and you kind of know what you're going to do with the entire project. Because that's the problem with After Effects, you can't get a nice overview of your, of your project. And for those of you who use Sony Vegas, you kind of already have that. But uh, I'm going to show you in a second why it's even better, in my opinion, to use Adobe Premiere. So. You can even record your cinematics and you may have some effects that you're going to be doing on your cinematics uh, later, but you can just sort of put them in as a placeholder right now. And then once you have it the way that you want, so this is one entire piece of this montage I'm working on. Once you have it all sorted out, what you can actually do is just go After Effects and let's make a new composition. Uh, just make it like you would a main comp. So let's make it pretty long. Let's make it like five minutes long and just call it main comp. And the cool thing is if you go back into Premiere, you can actually select all of the footage, just draw a lasso and select it all, go to edit, copy, or just control C, and then just press control V in After Effects. It will actually import all of the files that you need. And you can see this is not what we want. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Basically what it does is it takes all of the cuts that we made and literally just transfers them into After Effects. But you can see how messy this is and you wouldn't want to work this way. So you even have, you have all of your uh, cuts and all your cuts in the audio, all your gunshots and stuff. So this is basically what we want, but it's too messy. So let me show you how to clean it up. So let me undo that. So if you go back into Premiere, what I usually do is I have to nest each clip into its own sequence. So let's say, for example, this is the first clip. So it has all of these different cut points, right? So let's say, including the cinematic, the clip ends right there. So these four first clips, or the first four cuts, are actually the first clip. So if you select the first four cuts, which is the first, four, which is the first clip, and you right-click and nest it into a new sequence, now, let me go ahead and fast forward a bit, and let me go into the point where I actually did all of that for the rest of the clips. So once you nest them all, it'll look like this. Now if you select and copy them all, so Control-C, select them all, Control-C to copy, back into After Effects, 
select your main comp and control V paste. It'll import all your footage again. But now look at this. It's much, much cleaner. You've got each comp individually. And what you're going to actually have to do is to render out the song separately without all of these cuts if you made any edit to the song. But we're not going to worry about that right now. So let me just delete this. So basically you have all your gunshots. You can uh, choose to import those or not. It's up to you. Uh, actually, let me move these down here really quick. So there are a couple of just little tweaks that you have to do to organize it once it's in After Effects, but that's not even a big deal. And now look at this. You've got a really... Um, You've got a really clean area to work with inside of After Effects. You know, you could bring up your waveforms and uh, just get started on editing. So what you can do is open up one of these comps, for example, and you have all of the cuts and it's already synced up to the music. So you can do all of your effects inside of these comps and it's a really clean way to work. And I've really been enjoying it. It's, it's much cleaner and you can really get through all the clips a lot quicker. So that's basically the quick tip that I wanted to show you guys on my new editing workflow. There are a couple of uh, issues with it that I have to sort out a little bit, like it drops a frame on the cut sometimes, but, but that's not a big deal and you'll notice that. But if you want a nice overview of your project when you're editing in Premiere, where you can preview it in real time, you get a nice overview, there's, there's no rendering required, and you can sync it up, and then do all of your effects inside of After Effects, and you already know how your project is looking. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you with you guys today. I will be making more in-depth Premiere tutorials so you guys can actually do the syncing and stuff if you don't know how to do that. Premiere is a great program and it's really, really deep if you do take the time to learn it. So from now on, any big projects that require a lot of clips, I'm going to be editing it this way. But maybe you can get away if it's only like a couple of clips if you use it in After Effects. But it's really up to you. I just wanted to show you guys this is out there for you guys to experiment with. Stay tuned for future tutorials, guys. And I'll catch you in the next video.